In the past, there was only one road leading from Mazatlan to Durango, the Espinazo del Diablo, a.k.a. the Devil's Backbone, or Route 666. For many years, this was considered the most dangerous road in all of Mexico, owing to its construction in the side of a cliff and the presence of banditos in the area. Before taking on the infamous Espinazo del Diablo, my journey was to take me on the newly built toll road, which features 68 tunnels and some of the highest bridges in Mexico. To put into perspective how tall this bridge is that I'm crossing, I've added a still shot that I took from another viewpoint. So this is the infamous Baluarte Bridge. This is the highest bridge in Mexico. And uh, it used to be, up until a couple of years ago, the highest cable stayed bridge in the world. I think the Chinese now have something like six other taller ones over there. So here I am in El Salto. This is a really neat little town with uh, rolling hills, really narrow streets, reminiscent of something you might find in old Europe like somewhere like Spain or Italy. This was literally the parking lot to the hotel that I stayed in that night. And uh, I can tell you that hill is a lot steeper than it looks. <laughs> a little bit southwest of Durango, in the state of Durango. And I'm um, in a little town called uh, El little city called uh, El Saltillo and uh, instantly as soon as I got here I instantly liked the place instantly fell into it and uh, I'm gonna take you on a tour of the I started asking around on the street for a good place to eat and all the locals unanimously recommended this pizzeria Fully satiated, the next day I woke up early and headed towards the infamous Espinazo del Diablo. The first leg of the trip was to take me through pine forests which were strangely reminiscent of those found in northern Arizona and even Colorado. Here we begin to see the ominous cliffs which are characteristic of this road.
Upon re-entering the state of Sinaloa, the scenery began to change. Instead of pine forest, I had now entered a lush green landscape with overhanging tree branches. This bridge was one of the many ridiculously tall bridges that I had crossed the day before on the toll road. In total that day it was nearly a seven hour voyage from El Salto back to Mazatlan. The ride was incredible. 